temperature wise at least. Five below on the high end, five above on the low end. You do the math and divide by two and you end up with a perfect day or an average day temperature wise here in the Berg. We've got temperatures right now as you take a look at the Fort Duquesne Bridge at 71 degrees with a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Humidity and dew point levels close to the full mark, not quite. Could have some patchy fog out there and a couple of spotty showers in the region, but not at the airport. Winds out of the south at 8, and the pressure is just over 30 inches of mercury. Temperatures around the region pretty tightly packed, all ranging from upper 60s to low 70s. Look at this, Latrobe at 72, just about 20 miles away from Johnstown, 30 miles. That's the cool spot at 67. That's a 5-degree difference, and everybody else, on this map at least, is in between. Here's what we'll do temperature-wise overnight. Reads, reading is dropping only into the upper 60s and low 70s for overnight lows. And then tomorrow moving only into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs. Now, I think some of us could see 83, 84 degrees tomorrow possibly. But it's going to be tough with the showers that will be in the area for a good part of the day, especially during the afternoon and evening hours. And we've still got those showers, albeit light activity. Most of this is just spotty drizzle moving through the region right now. As we zoom in, you can see there's really not anything happening in Allegheny County to speak of. It's all over in Westmoreland, Fayette, and parts of, well, let's see, it looks like Indiana Town. <laughs> Indiana Township. Indiana Township, you are dry. I know that for a fact. I just talked to my wife out in that area. Meanwhile, in Indiana County, it is raining at this hour. Here we are with a look at Futurecast, and we can see that there will be some spotty showers around, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then as we head on into Saturday, looks like more of the same, although things will dry out as we head into Saturday afternoon. Probably won't clear out, though, until Sunday. But then gorgeous weather for two straight days. Until then, though, we got to be watching. Keep an eye to the sky tomorrow. Only a marginal chance for severe weather, but there could be one or two isolated storms that could kick up enough rain to possibly cause some localized flooding. Then as we head into the day on Saturday, things quiet down, and Sunday and Monday look gorgeous. Forecast says 68 with scattered showers, warm and muggy tonight. Tomorrow, our high, 84 degrees with showers, one or two isolated thunderstorms in the area. And then as we move on into Saturday, a leftover shower or two early. Getting out of here, though, before 3 o'clock, then we clear out in the afternoon and evening hours, and Sunday, Monday, and the first part of Tuesday, look great. Susan, they... All right, thanks a lot, John. We'll wake up tomorrow morning with the KKA TV Morning News. We'll have your updated local forecast, up to the minute traffic information, and of course, all the news from overnight. That is tomorrow, starting at 4.30 a.m. 400 students from Propel, McKeesport, receive